What is happening everyone? My name is Count Jinsula. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm not going to be doing any kind of discussion or strategy or gameplay video. Today I wanted to give you a story about this Pokemon right here. This is my Raikou. It is 100% Raikou and there is a big story behind this Pokemon and I just wanted to share it with you. Maybe it's going to be a bit of an uplifting story, especially for some of you who have been experiencing some bad luck lately when it comes to Pokemon Go. Maybe this story will give you a bit of encouragement, but Overall, yeah, I just wanted to talk about this Raikou because it's a very special one for me. So, the story begins about two weeks ago. Obviously, when Raikou first came out, it was about two to three weeks ago from the time I'm recording this video. And I was actually in the middle of the busiest week of my life. It was actually my wedding week. So, you know, at the end of the week, I was going to get married. So... You know, I'm doing a whole bunch of wedding planning. I didn't have a lot of time to go out and actually go for this Pokemon. And every time I did, I would actually have the Raikou run away. So I did about eight raids throughout that week. That's about as many raids as I had enough time for. And during those eight raids, I would throw excellent curveballs, great curveballs, all sorts of things. My throws were completely on point, and every single Raikou seemed to have ran. I was not able to catch a single Raikou, and some of you who are following me on Twitter, you may have noticed that I would just constantly complain at Niantic about it, that the 2% base catch rate was just completely abysmal, and overall, I just felt like, you know, I was just not going to get Raikou. I mean, with all of the raids that I didn't have time for, along with, you know, planning to go on my honeymoon right after my wedding, you know, I just felt like my chances of actually catching this Pokemon were actually slim to none. But, yeah, so comes my wedding day, it's September 3rd, 2017, and, you know, obviously on a day like that, I'm the first to get up among all of my groomsmen, among everyone in my wedding party and you know it's about 5 a.m. I didn't need to get up till about 7 a.m. but I had two hours to kill so naturally what I wanted to do was go out and play a little Pokemon to calm my nerves for the day and I did notice that there was a Raikou raid about three or four blocks away so I decided to make the walk there and actually see if I can get this Pokemon and it's 5 a.m. so I just didn't assume that a lot of players would be up at that time and actually get a raid group growing with this Raikou but I figured I'd just shoot in the dark and try it anyway so I walked all the way down there and it happens to be at a gym that was very close to where my fiance at the time was actually you know really close to where she used to live so it was kind of iconic that I would end up there and Fortunate enough, there was an actual raid group there. I actually didn't know where they were, so it's probably some air support, you know, spoofers. And we had a group of about seven people, but I managed to jump in and actually try for this Raikou. And fortunately enough, we were able to get it down pretty easily, and there was quite a few Valors there as well, so I did get a couple extra balls. So I was like, hey, why not? And the thing happens where the health goes down after you defeat it or the CP rather and you see it stop at 1911 which is I believe what the 100% base CP is for Raikou and I was kind of like shocked at the moment maybe I saw it wrong maybe my mind was playing tricks on me but obviously when I got to the catch screen it was confirmed that it was 100% Raikou and in my mind at this moment I'm thinking about the eight times that Raikou has ran before this one and I just didn't get my hopes up I was like you know, if I catch it, I catch it. If I don't, then it's very typical. I'm almost used to it at this point. I just kind of assumed that this Raikou would run away. So I throw my first Pokeball after a Golden Raspberry, of course. And of course, it breaks out after the first shake. You know, it's something that I've been seeing a lot with Raikou. But the second ball that I throw, it wasn't even a great throw or an excellent throw. It was a nice throw. And I do think I did curveball it. And it was with a Golden Raspberry. And boom! Just like that, it was critically caught. Not even one shake, it just, you see the swirly stars, and I was like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I just caught this one. And out of all the Raikus that I could catch, this one was 100% IV. So, yeah, there you go. Eight misses in a row. You pretty much think that I'm never going to catch this Pokemon, and the first one I catch happens to be the one that matters. It is the 100% IV Raikou. And after that, I did manage to catch like maybe two or three more. Not necessarily on that day, but after I returned from my honeymoon, which was a pretty great experience. And, you know, 
some of those were pretty decent IVs. There was one that I caught yesterday that was actually 98% IVs, and it's almost the same thing, where I just, you know, I had three Raikou in a row run away, and then this one just happened to be the one that, you know, that mattered for that day. So, you know, this is a lesson learned. If you're experiencing a lot of bad luck, if you're experiencing a string of just, you know, just bad catches and, you know, bad raids and different things like that, you know, your day will come. That's really the message behind this video is that, you know, if you're having a whole bunch of Pokemon run away after you're doing a bunch of these raids, just keep at it because eventually you will get the one that you want. And it's all about just being diligent. But in any case, I really hope you enjoyed this story, folks. It's just something I wanted to share with the Pokemon Go community because I do know that there's a lot of people, especially right now with the EX raid passes and the way they're going out, that people are experiencing a lot of frustrations when it comes to Pokemon Go. But I wanted to give a little bit of a positive story for all of you guys so that you can still continue to try and enjoy the game and really be encouraged that your day will come when it comes to this game. But I really hope you enjoyed this video, folks. And if you did, make sure you mash that thumbs up button. That would help me out a great deal. And subscribe for more Pokemon Go videos like this one. And I will catch you all later. Peace.